Hi everybody, I'm Scott, and welcome. Um, I'm about to read this thing, uh, The Silmarillion. This this is a book that's been on my TBR for as long as I can remember, since the first time I read Lord of the Rings, which is a book that I love dearly. Um, but uh, I'm thrilled to be doing this with uh, two knowledgeable folks. I'll be the rookie in the group. Um, the other two uh, co-hosts to this read-along are Steve Donahue and uh, David Wiley. So um, I'm thrilled to be doing this. It's Again, it's a book that I've been meaning to read for a long time. So it's a, it's a mythopoeic book, meaning it's a collection of um, myths um, that are, uh, you know, made up by the author. Um, it was published after J.R. Tolkien died, um, not too long after, just a few years after, and it was collected by his son, Christopher Tolkien. And... Um, uh, published in 1977. I can't remember if I said the year, but um, you know, th this is a book that a lot of people have told me is difficult to read, and um, you know, some some people love it, some people just swear by it, and they say, uh, well, like David said, this is some of the best stuff that Tolkien has ever written, um, and so I'm eager to to look at it. I've read Lord of the Rings, and I've read um, things like Tea and Leaf, and I've read on fairy stories. Uh, David Wiley mentioned that as a good thing to read is in the lead in to this um so I, i'm i'm really looking forward to it um i'm going to be uh reading this over a month's time is a nice slow pace so i should be able to run down some rabbit holes and figure stuff out if it doesn't make any sense i'll ask my co-hosts and things to if, to shed some light if they um if they can but the the way that we're splitting it up is um in my book the um the text is about 300 pages long <clears throat> so um we just broke it up into four 75 page or so pieces um so the first week um we'll be reading the Ainul Indale and the Vala Quinta and then the uh Quinta Silmarillion books or Quintas one through seven and I'll put this in uh, down below here. That'll be the first week, and um, we'll post a video on or about July 3rd. Um, I think Steve said he'd be a little, uh, he won't do it over that weekend because it's July 4th weekend, but I'll probably do mine on Saturday, July 3rd. And then the next 75 pages or so are Quintas uh, 8 through um, 17. And then in week 3, um, that's going to be 18 through 21. And then in week four, it's Quintas 22 through 24. And then a Calabeth. And then of the Rings of Power and the Third Age. So um, that's how we're going to progress through this book. And I'll put that schedule down below if you want to read along. But I'm really looking forward to this. Um, again, it's been on my TBR forever. And uh, looking forward to seeing what's in here. So... Um, please join along if you're interested, and uh, thank you for watching.